Donald Trump has challenged Joe Biden to take him on in a series of TV debates ahead of the presidential election in November. It comes after Nikki Haley officially withdrew from the Republican Party nomination. Haley dropped out following Super Tuesday, but is yet to declare her support for Trump. Well, joining us now is chairman of Republicans Overseas UK, a firm favourite of this year crosstalk, the one and only Greg Swenson. Hiya, Greg. How you doing? Um, so Hello, Alex. Thanks for having me. We were talking, weren't we, about why is Nikki Haley going on and on and on? She's not going to get the nomination. But it seems to me that she might have wargamed herself a bit of a smart strategy here and Donald Trump might be sizing her up to be his running mate. Do you think that could happen? I, I think that's a long shot because he's got other choices and they got into it a little bit. Um, you know, they got they got a little, you know, heated in their in their conversations, I'll call them, or mostly on, on social media. But I think that would be a difficult choice for him. And, and there would be a lot of pushback from the base. The base does not like Nikki Haley. Don Jr. does not like Nikki Haley. However, I think it would be wise for President Trump to really try to reach out to those voters. There's a lot of never Trumpers in there. There's a lot of people that were on the fence. So I think, you know, some, whether it's choosing her as, as, as running mate or at the very least, you know, reaching out to her and reaching out to her, more importantly, to her voters or her supporters. Uh, in, indeed. And I think it was interesting that, you know, Donald Trump, when he beats someone, he usually pours a massive bucket all over their heads. Uh, he didn't say anything about Nikki Haley. So I certainly think uh, the Donald is hedging his bets here. He's considering this, but I agree with you, Greg, his own support would hate it because they hate Nikki Haley. So yeah. it probably is a long shot. But let's talk about Joe Biden. We had a bit of a row in the studio here earlier. I said I think it is now locked in. He is going to be the Democrat candidate uh, because the only mechanism the Democrats have to get rid of that old fossil is to persuade him, and he doesn't seem persuadable. So uh, it seems to me we are looking at uh, Trump v Biden, the rematch. I, I, I would agree. I think for now, at least, you know, Biden is very stubborn and you, you see it in the way he behaves with with press conferences. He's very angry. He's very bitter. And so I think he would be really repelled by any suggestion from the inner circle that he step aside. However, when we get to July or August before the Democrat convention in, in, in uh, Chicago, I think there'll be, a, you know, there could be some more pressure on him if he's still polling like this. And I don't see what he can possibly do or what events could occur that would change the narrative right now in the polls where he is really failing and he's and he's falling behind Trump further and further. Tell you what the Democrats could do to get rid of Biden. Just jump out from behind a curtain and say boo. That would probably uh, finish him off. Stick him on, stick him on an aeroplane staircase I mean, <laughs> and he'll yeah. fall over. <laughs> yeah, he's using, the, he's using the shorter staircase now. They give him special shoes. Yeah, I mean, this is a debacle. Uh, at, at what point is he going to come down the inflatable on Air Force One? Yeah. Uh, what about these TV debates? I mean, it's quite a smart move by old Donald. So if we are looking at Trump, Biden, uh, to get that old guy on on uh, the telly up against Donald Trump, who, whatever the Democrats oh, try to it. say, has still got all his marbles. He will pulverise Biden, won't he, in those debates? It, it, would, it would be really horrible for the Biden campaign to allow that to happen. I mean, Trump would crush him. Now, remember, you know, Biden actually did better than Trump in the debates in 2020. But that was a long time ago. Biden's cognitive issues have, have only gotten worse, and they're not going to get better in the next eight months, that's for sure. And, and also, the condition of the country is different. I think Trump would crush Biden in the debate. I don't blame Biden for avoiding it. I, I imagine he'll continue to do that because, you know, you have a different picture right now. You, you have a, a, much, a much more difficult, um, you know, it would be much more difficult for Biden to say, I'm the return to normalcy when it's been nothing, anything but normal. And you have a, you know, a wide open border. You have the fact that, you know, the, the uh, New York Post and the, the Hunter Biden laptop was censored in October of 20. And Biden denied on air, uh, you know, during the debate, he denied any activity with Hunter's business partners. He said Hunter never got any money from China. You know, all of these things have, have, been, have come out since then. And so this would just be a license for, for Trump to really beat on President Biden. 
Now, without going too far down a conspiracy wormhole, although I do enjoy them from time to time, you only look at the situation in America, and when you look at that relic as the president, you think, how on earth has that happened? And it does strike me, given all the rot with his son as well, you were just talking about Hunter Biden, is he there because perhaps he's easy to control because he's got loads of skelly bobs in the, in the closet and he is indeed a, basically a skelly bob himself? Right. Look, I think he's better. He's better off staying in the basement again, like he did in 2020. He, at the time, of course, they used COVID and lockdowns as an excuse. He doesn't have that anymore. But I think he should. I, I would advise him to stay in the basement and not campaign, and surely not debate. Hunter Biden is a time bomb. Joe has been connected to Hunter and his business. He he received forty thousand dollars. You know, it was supposed to be a loan repayment, but it happens to be 10 percent of the four hundred thousand dollar payment they received from CEFC, the Chinese uh, CCP related energy company in China. So, you know, this thing is a, is a disaster for Biden. So it, it, any sense of a repeat of the debates of 2020 would really just favor Trump so much. And you're right, Alex, you know, he he's got a lot of skeletons in his closet, most of which have come out. They, they did their best. The, the FBI and the, the media complex, the Democrat media complex, did a great job censoring it in October and November of 2020. And that's just not going to work anymore. Yeah, and of course, if, uh, uh, if it is Biden, Trump and Donald says, right, TV debates and the Democrats do what they're likely to do, say, oh, no, no, we won't do any of those. Of course, that will be uh, ammunition for Donald. Oh, he won't go up against me because he's gone senile. Uh, it doesn't look good for the Democrats. Great to talk to you as always, Greg. Greg Swenson there. Great to be here, guys. Thank Cheers, you. Greg.